the love hormone? Well, there is one. Stay tuned to find out what that is. See you in the episode. This podcast is for you, the modern man. I'm Dr. Ann Trung, your host. I'm an intimate health medical doctor and best-selling author of the book, Erectile Dysfunction Fix. I'll do a deep dive into sexual health and performance and how it affects men of all ages and backgrounds. So let's get started and be sure to visit my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com for more information and resources from the show. See you on the inside. Hello there, modern man. Today, we're going to talk about oxytocin, a mysterious hormone that is released in your brain that has actually multiple function. And the one that's important is that it is involved in sexual arousal and with ejaculation. So let's dive into this. Oxytocin is a natural hormone that is in both male and female, is involved in delivery of the baby, as well as during labor and also lactation. It is actually produced in the hypothalamus and is stored in the posterior pituitary gland. Now a hormone is a chemical that when released in the bloodstream, stimulate function in the body by carrying messages of the hormone to your organ, to your muscles, and to your tissue. Now the hypothalamus is the gland that is controlled blood pressure, heart rate and body temperature and digestion. And what's important is that oxytocin is actually used to help with delivery. Those of you that are female that had a baby probably been induced with Pitocin. I had Pitocin when I had my first baby. I mean, in fact, I think I had both of my kids to help the uterus contract to push the baby out. So oftentimes the OB will give you an IV uh, Pitocin to induce labor. It can also speed the delivery of the placenta as well as reduce risk of heavy bleeding after postpartum hemorrhage or bleeding. So what is the function of oxytocin? There are two main physical function of oxytocin. One is to stimulate the uterus to start contraction for labor and childbirth. And the second one is for the breast tissue to aid in producing, expelling the milk for the baby. But oxytocin has many other mysterious function and most of them important role in sexual arousal even. It's important in a recognition of others and developing trust, romantic attachment, as well as parent and infant bonding. That's why it's often called the love hormone. And so the oxytocin has also been studied and researched to be involved in addiction, anorexia, anxiety, autism spectrum disorder, depression, as well as PTSD. I mentioned that oxytocin is involved in delivery. And what's interesting is that it helps in pushing the baby out of the uterus or stimulate the uterus to contract. And it also does the same thing. It stimulates the cells to deliver uh, milk from the breast tissue as well too. And oxytocin also plays a part in ejaculation. What the hormone does is that it contracts the vas deferens, which is the structure, it's a tube, because the testosterone is stored in the testicles and it's attached to the vas deferens. Oxytocin contracts the vas deferens, which is the tube, which then pushes out the sperm and semen for uh, ejaculation. It is also affect the production of testosterone as well in the testicles. So it's involved in ejaculation and also involved in the production of testosterone. Interestingly, oxytocin have a positive feedback loop, which means that more oxytocin is released, more stimulation from the pituitary gland where it is stored and conversely less of it is released less is produced so do the oxytocin level ever get low very rarely does it get high very rarely as well too sometimes when you have a condition called pan hypopituitarism where the hypothalamus just not producing hormone 
you may have that low oxytocin level. Low oxytocin level has been linked, but it's still unknown to autism spectrum disorder as well as depressive symptom as well. Does oxytocin level get high? Rarely. High level of oxytocin have been linked to benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH as well. So why is oxytocin called the love drug? It's called the love drug because oxytocin is associated with trust, sexual arousal, and relationship building. That's why it's called the love hormone or the cuddle hormone. And it is increased when you hug someone and when you're experiencing an orgasm. So you will produce more oxytocin level if you have intercourse and then have an orgasm and then you cuddle afterward. Your oxytocin level will be Hi, even just hugging someone will increase your oxytocin. And then if your oxytocin level is increased during foreplay or hugging, then you'll have more sexual arousal as well and also more bonding. So it's, it's interesting. It probably play an important role in foreplay. As in foreplay, you stimulate your senses, you hug, you kiss, and then that feed into a positive feedback loop. Remember what I say, the more oxytocin level you have, it's a positive feedback loop into the pituitary to release more. So it will actually help you have more sexual arousal, which then releases more oxytocin, which then have more sexual arousal, which then will help with orgasm as well as relationship building as well. So it's not necessarily just a hormone that's involved in labor and childbirth and uh, lactation. It's an important hormone, really the love hormone of beyond just sex, but really developing trust and relationship building as well as sexual arousal. So hug somebody today all right the more you hug the more oxytocin and may that may help with your arousal as well may help even increasing that relationship as well so today hug someone and go to bed hug someone as well so having said that i hope you enjoyed oxytocin stay tuned for the next episode as well let me know if you have any questions Hello there. Want an amazing sex life? This free gift is going to give you more sex by helping you get harder and lasting longer. Let's talk about the most sensitive subject, the effect that aging has on your sex life. If you're over 40, there's about 67% chance that you have to deal with one or more of these issues. You sometimes go soft in the middle of sex. You sometimes have trouble lasting long enough to climax. Your erection just doesn't feel as hard as it used to be and your penis is not as sensitive as it used to be, you cannot reach orgasm or ejaculate, you sometimes have trouble getting an erection, these things lead to frustration and embarrassment when you cannot please your partner. My name is Dr. Ann Trung, and I've been treating men for issues like this for over 25 years. As a board-certified medical doctor who specializes in men's health, I help over 7,000 men reverse the effect of ED. As a way to introduce you to the ED treatment that I I offer, I want to give you the most incredible free gift ever. But don't let the fact that it's free gift fool you. This powerful gift will help you get harder and stay and last longer and may just revolutionize your sex life, making sex more exciting, more thrilling, and an amazing experience again. How is that? So here's what you're going to get in this most incredible free gift. Number one, a good morning wood smoothie recipe. This is my specially formulated antioxidant recipe that will help you get harder and stay and stimulating more blood flow. It is formulated to increase your nitrous oxide level, which is one of the biggest keys to making you harder and firmer more often and will also help you last longer. It is filled with lots of greens that create more nitrous oxide in your blood. This smoothie will give you that morning wood effect and will also make you harder on demand when you need it most. And you'll see the effect in about several weeks. Number two, nitrous oxide testing strip. 
you will also get two of these strips, which you will use along with simple instruction to test your nitrous oxide level in your saliva. Nitrous oxide is a gas it in your body and is required for good blood flow to the organ. The strip can determine if your nitrous oxide are deficient, which can help us advise you on the best way to reverse your ED. Even more important, since, since ED is an early warning sign of problems with circulation and heart health, this can also be a great way to prevent heart-related problems such as strokes and heart attack. Number three, and the best part of all, a 30-day free trial access to the Modern Man Club. As part of our mission to make men hard again, we launched the Modern Man Club as a way to provide education and support to community of men who's on the path to reversing their ED. With pre-recorded and live session being offered every week, um, I will help men regain sexual health through training, support. I will be there all the way with you to hold your hand through, so that way you can overcome ED and have your best sex life. Members rave about this session and the sense of community they gain by being a member of the Modern Man Club. And all you have to do is to say maybe to this offer. And once you say maybe, you will be on your way to a more fulfilling and exciting sex life. So all you have to do is fill down the form below and then I will see you on the inside. Thanks for listening to the Sexual Health for Men podcast. If you love this episode, then please take a screenshot on your phone and post it on Facebook, Instagram, or wherever you post. And be sure to tag me and let me know why you like this episode and what you like to hear in the future. That will help me know what's great for you. And I would love to give you the most incredible free gift design to help you improve performance quickly. Go to my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com to get the book, The Five Common Costly Mistakes Men Make When Facing ED. I would appreciate it if you subscribe, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen, and just know that you can have sexual vitality for life. I appreciate you. Until next time.